Are you looking for an easy, no code way to place a quiz on your WordPress website and also use it to get email list signups? Today I'll be showing you exactly how to do that coming right up. Hi there, I'm Christine on with Thrive Beans. In today's video, I'll be showing you just how easy it is to embed a quiz on your WordPress website using Thrive Quiz Builder. Quizzes are a great way to encourage your audience to engage with your website, and they're also really great for building your email list. So let's dive right in. Okay, so I have an example blog post here, and I've put a quiz at the bottom of the post. Now you can put quizzes on any page of your website. So you can put them on your homepage, a landing page in a blog post like this one. Now let's quickly go through this quiz. And this is just a demonstration, so I'm sure you will be able to come up with better questions and answers. And now we've come to what's called an opt-in gate. So quiz takers are going to be encouraged to enter in their name and their email address before they view their quiz results. So let's go ahead and let's enter in some information. And let's click get my results. And here is my quiz result. Now behind the scenes, the quiz takers name and email address have been added to our email list. All right, so that is what we're going to be setting up today. First, ensure that you have Thrive Quiz Builder installed and activated on your WordPress website. After purchasing Thrive Quiz Builder or Thrive Suite, if you want to get all of our tools at an amazing value, log into your Thrive Themes account and then download the Thrive Product Manager plugin. Then go to the back end of your WordPress website and then go to plugins and add new. And then you can go ahead and upload the file that you just downloaded. After installing and activating the Thrive Product Manager plugin, you'll see Product Manager appear in the left sidebar. Go ahead and access the Product Manager, and then just follow the prompts to install the Thrive tools you need. After installing Thrive Quiz Builder, you can go to the Thrive dashboard and then Thrive Quiz Builder. And now let's go ahead and let's add a new quiz. Now from here, you can either build from scratch or you can choose one of the pre-built templates. Since we want to build our email list from our quiz, let's go ahead and choose list building. And I'll click continue. And let's give this quiz a name. Now what's nice about Thrive Quiz Builder is that it does come with a tour guide to guide you through setting up your quiz step by step. So let's go ahead and let's change the evaluation type for our quiz. Now Thrive Quiz Builder has five different evaluation types. Number is probably the simplest, so that will present the quiz taker's score as the number of questions correct out of the number of total questions. So let's say they got um, eight out of 10 questions correct, then the score would be eight out of 10. For percentage, Thrive Quiz Builder will convert that score from eight out of 10 to a percent, so that would be 80%. Now the category quiz type will place users in a category according to how they answered your questions. So the category quiz type is great for things like personality tests. For the right or wrong evaluation type, that will provide users with immediate feedback about why they got a question right or wrong. And then the survey quiz type is good for open-ended questions where you want your users to write in their answers. So this is good for surveys, asking for feedback, and asking for reviews. For this particular quiz, I'm going to set up a category evaluation type. And then I'll need to add my categories. So these categories are going to be the possible results that quiz takers can end up with. Now you do have some extra options here. I'll let you explore those on your own. I'll go ahead and click Save. Next, we'll need to choose a quiz style. Now there are several different templates available for you. For the most customization options, I would recommend choosing the minimalist template as this is the only one at the moment that is customizable to your brand. Now, if you would like to change things like colors and fonts, just go to the edit design button. And then you can make your customizations simply by clicking on an element and then using the options on the left. For now, I'm just going to stick with the defaults. Next, it's time to add questions and answers to our quiz. So under the quiz structure section, let's go to questions. 
And that brings us to the question editor. So let's go ahead and let's add our first question. Now you can choose from a few different question types. Let's just go ahead and go with something simple. Let's just do multiple choice with buttons. Next, let's add a question and some possible answers to our quiz. Now for the category evaluation type, it's important to assign a category to each potential answer. That way Thrive Quiz Builder can correctly tabulate the results on the results page. All right, so here is our first question. Let's go ahead and let's add two more questions. All right, so I've got my three questions here. Two of them are stacked on top of each other. So I'll simply click and drag them around in the question editor. And now I'll need to connect the dots in order to tell Thrive Quiz Builder the order of these questions. So right now we are just doing a linear flow where question one leads to question two and question two leads to question three. Now Thrive Quiz Builder does have a branching logic feature. However, that feature is more for advanced users. So for now, I'll just leave this with our linear flow and I'll go ahead and save and exit. Next, we'll need to create a results page. So let's go to results page and I'll click manage. Go ahead and click the blue pencil icon to edit the design. And now you can use the Thrive Editor to change things like the font color or the actual font itself. And this short code here will display the actual quiz results. So you don't want to delete that, but you can add text before and after it if you like. Now let's say you do happen to accidentally get rid of the quiz result. It is very easy to add it back in. Just go ahead and go up to the stack of coins icon. That is for dynamic elements. Let's go ahead and let's select a source. We're going to choose quiz short codes. And then in the second dropdown, we'll select quiz result. Okay, so this is the dynamic quiz result. And we can go ahead and just get rid of this text here. And this does look a bit different from the short code that we just saw, but it will display your quiz result dynamically. Okay, so after you've made your customizations, don't forget to save your work, and then you can head back to the Thrive Quiz Builder Quiz Editor. Next, let's take a look at the opt-in gate. So the opt-in gate is going to show a form where your quiz takers can enter in their name and email address before they see their quiz results. So let's go ahead and take a look at the opt-in gate. And again, we'll need to click on the blue pencil icon to edit the design. And then you can customize the fonts, colors, and also the text. To customize an element, simply click on it and then use the options on the left. Now you will need to connect the lead generation form to your email marketing service. To do that, simply click on the form, make sure that lead generation is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the main options tab and then click add connection. Now, prior to doing this, you will need to have connected your email marketing service to Thrive. We will provide a link to instructions on how to do that down in the description. After integrating your email marketing service, then you will see it pop up in this list here. For now, I'll go ahead and choose MailChimp. Now, if you have multiple lists, you can choose your list. If you have multiple groups, you can choose your group. You can choose either single or double opt-in. For now, let's keep things simple and let's do single opt-in. And then you have the ability to send the quiz result as a tag. And then you can also add a tag for anyone who completes the quiz, regardless of their quiz result. The ability to tag your email list subscribers is actually a pretty important feature because then later on you can send targeted marketing campaigns to people with specific tags in your email marketing service. So now let's go ahead and click apply. And the last thing I'd like to show you is the skip this step text. So this will allow people to skip adding their information here before seeing their results. If you would like to make filling out this form mandatory, simply get rid of this text here. So I'll simply click on it and then click the trash can icon. When you're finished making your customizations, click save your work, and then you can head back to Thrive Quiz Builder. Next, let's take a look at the splash page. So the splash page is what's going to be shown when the page loads. That way, when the page loads, you won't immediately see the first question of the quiz. And then people are wondering, well, what is this question doing here on this page? So the splash page will invite people to take your quiz. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. 
Again, you'll need to click on the blue pencil icon to edit your splash page. And then everything here is click to edit. So let's say you would like to change this background image here. Simply click on the image, make sure that the correct item is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then let's go to the background style tab and let's go ahead and let's change this image and let's just simply choose a new one. Now the image I chose makes this text slightly difficult to read. As you can see, there is a slightly transparent solid color over the image. So let's go ahead and let's just edit the solid color and let's just make this a little bit more opaque so that we can read the text a little easier. When you're finished making your customizations, you can go ahead and save your work and head back to the Thrive Quiz Builder Quiz Editor. All right, so now you've got all of the pieces of a working quiz. You chose your quiz evaluation type, you chose your quiz design, and now you have a complete quiz structure with a splash page, questions and answers. You have your opt-in gate for collecting email addresses and you have your results page. The next thing you'll need to do is display this quiz on a page. Now there's two ways to do that. You can either copy and paste this short code to any page on your site. And the other way to insert a quiz on your website is to use Thrive Architect. Now this quiz short code here should work with any WordPress theme, any page builder tool. It will also work with Gutenberg and it will also work with the WordPress classic editor. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is copy this short code here and then simply go to the page where you want to display your quiz and paste it in. And if you're using Thrive Architect, it's super easy to add your quiz to your page. So just go ahead and open up any page or post in Thrive Architect. So here I have an example blog post that is just for demonstration purposes. Let's say I would like to insert my quiz at the bottom of the post here. I'll simply go to the add element button and let's search for the quiz element and I'll simply click and drag this into place. Let's go ahead and let's choose the quiz and here's my quiz. So there you have it. That was how to add a quiz to your website using Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, as far as purchasing, you can purchase Thrive Quiz Builder on its own, but I would definitely recommend taking a look at Thrive Suite because that includes all of our plugins and tools, and it's a really great value for what you're getting. Links are going to be down in the description, and if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.